everyone, you are watching weekly forex outlook by Light Forex. From this video, you will learn about the most exciting forex trading opportunities of this week. Firstly, let's have a look at the chart of the US dollar index. You can see that American currency declined to the support line, which has been in place since the start of 2018. The US dollar declined as demand for this currency as a safe haven reduced. It happened after the news that uh, the trade war between China and the United States has paused and uh, US President Donald Trump announced that um, he wouldn't raise tariffs on $200 billion of Chinese goods to 25% on January the 1st. Instead, New talks will start between the United States and China, and these talks will be aimed to reach a deal within the next 90 days. As a result, the market got new hope, traders improved their risk appetite, and we saw uh, safe havens like US dollar, like gold, decline, while risk-sensitive currencies like Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar managed to get to uh, higher levels. This was the major development of the end of uh, last week. Now let's see what awaits us uh, during this week because uh, we know that the agenda of for traders will be very intense. To learn about the upcoming events, we'll get to the economic calendar at lightforex.com. And here we can see that on Monday, the main event will be the data release from the United States, ISM Manufacturing PMI. More events will occur during other days of the week. For example, on Tuesday, there will be the meeting of the Reserve Bank of Australia. The regulator is not expected to change its policy, but uh, traders will uh, monitor the bank's statement and it will be very interesting whether the bank comments on the recent uh, rebound of the Australian currency. If it uh, says that the increase in Australian dollar is negative, for uh, Australian economy, then there may be a sell-off in Australian currency. If the RBA sounds positive, then the Australian dollar will manage to continue strengthening. Also, on Tuesday, there will be a speech of the Bank of England Governor Mark Carney. He will speak about uh, Brexit and the speech will be important. And uh, Britain will release construction PMI index. So uh, this will be an opportunity to trade the British pound. In addition, uh, we know as Brexit is currently the main topic for the British pound, that uh, the five-day debate about Brexit plan will start in British Parliament on Tuesday as well. So there will be a lot of commands from British policymakers and we can expect that British pound will trade in a very volatile fashion. So next we switch to Wednesday, December 5th. And on Wednesday, more news from Australia, which will announce its uh, quarterly GDP figures. And you can see that a slowdown in Australian economic growth in the third quarter is expected. That would surely mean the negative news for the Australian dollar. The European Central Bank's president, Mario Draghi, will speak and surely his words will move the euro. Britain will release services PMI, um, a key economic indicator for the economy. Europe will release retail sales and America will publish ADP, non-farm employment change data, one of the key indicators of the US labor market. And this ADP indicator is 
uh, perceived by many traders as preview of non-farm payrolls, which will take place a few days later. So uh, this, this release will have an impact on the USD, as well as ISM non-manufacturing PMI, which will be released uh, later on Wednesday. This is not all the news for the USD on Wednesday, as the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell will testify before Congress. And uh, the last time, uh, last week, Powell's comments were negative for the US dollar because traders took hints from his words that the US Central Bank will raise interest rates slower than expected next year and may actually make a pause in the hiking cycle. So, uh, as a result, traders will watch new speech of the Fed's chair with great attention. This is uh, Wednesday. On Wednesday, we'll also get the meeting of the Bank of Canada and its interest rate decision. Here, no real changes are expected, but surely commands um, of the central bank in the rate statement will play a key role for the Canadian currency. On Thursday, more news await traders, as there will be a retail sales release from Australia. There will also be the speech of the Bank of Canada's governor. And uh, the Fed Chair Powell will continue to testify. In addition, uh, one of the key events on Thursday will be the meeting of the key oil exporters, the OPEC meeting. And um, according to the news we have so far, uh, the key uh, player of this organization, Saudi Arabia, uh, managed to agree with Russia to extend uh, the pact to manage oil market to continue with uh, production cuts. And this uh, allows us to expect that indeed a production cut agreement will be achieved at the meeting. And this may act as a bullish factor for oil, which uh, survived a very big decline in October and November. So. Uh, the event on Thursday may actually bring some hope to oil prices and to such currency as Canadian dollar, which is closely linked to oil dynamics. So uh, this is Thursday. And on Friday, on Friday, uh, the key thing, uh, apart from some GDP figures in the euro area, will surely be labor market data from the United States. Non-farm payrolls we spoke, spoke about earlier. According to the forecasts, uh, the NFP indicator will show a uh, smaller gain. So U.S. jobs growth will um, slow down in its pace. However, traders uh, and analysts expect U.S. unemployment rate to stay at the same level and U.S. average earnings growth to accelerate. This would be positive. All in all, if the data is in line with the forecasts, that would mean that the U.S. Federal Reserve would be very uh, free to increase interest rates in December as it is planned. And all in all, such uh, figures would be positive for the US dollar on Friday. Canada will also release uh, labor market data together with the United States on Friday. So yet another opportunity to trade the Canadian currency will present itself. All in all, we can see that uh, the week is very eventful. There will be uh, two central bank meetings, the Central Bank of Australia and Canada. There will be a key meeting of oil exporters. There will be a very important Brexit discussion ahead of Brexit uh, vote on December 11th. 
and uh, there will be key economic releases from the United States, Australia and uh, Canada, the main um, countries which will publish key economic indicators. So uh, bearing all this in mind, let us turn to the charts and uh, comment, about, comment about the dynamics of uh, some key assets here. Uh, looking at the chart of euro dollar, uh, we start with the weekly chart here. We can see that uh, the currency pair still enjoys support around 1.12, where we find 61.8 Fibonacci level. Above that point, uh, another supporting line is located around 1.1310, where the 200 week moving average is located. The line is horizontal and it helps to uh, preserve euro dollar from further declines. Although, uh, of course, the currency pair can be more volatile and it can test 1.12 on the downside, although this support seems to be rather strong. On the upside, the key obstacles, uh, the key limitations for the pair lie around the Fibonacci level at 1.1450. And uh, the psychological level, the previous support and now resistance at 1.15 mark. Daily chart and the past price action dynamics uh, hint at uh, further volatility. We can see that um, there are moving averages on the daily chart which uh, are above the price and have a slight bearish bias. So. It strengthens the resistance in the 1.15 area. However, we can say that the pair has strong downside momentum and we expect the sideways dynamics within 1.15, uh, 1.1210 and maybe uh, even a more narrow range between 1.1450 here and 1.15 on the downside. The euro doesn't have uh, strong economic fundamentals, so um, here the main uh, driver of the pair will be the news coming from the United States. If uh, we look at the chart of the British pound and start on the weekly chart, we can see that uh, the pound has been under pressure during the recent weeks. The key support levels are located around 1.2725, 1.27. You can see that there were four attempts of the pound to test this uh, support line. And a further level to watch on the downside lies at 1.2660. This is the August low. And below that point, nothing would really be able to... Um, provide support for the pound. Now the key fundamental factor for the British pound is Brexit and the upcoming Brexit vote in the British Parliament which will take place on December 11th. Uh, British Parliament is very divided. There are many policymakers who do not want to approve the Brexit plan. As a result, the risk of a no-deal Brexit is extremely high and this outcome would be very negative for the British pound. And if we have to make some longer-term forecasts, we would say that decline to 1.25 and 1.20 in the upcoming month seems like a very uh, possible scenario. So, um, if we have to make a short-term forecast, the British pound will be volatile around 1.27 and limited by resistance at 1.2825, 1.29, 1 1.30. But uh, a break to the downside will come as um, uh, troubles, political troubles, Brexit troubles look um, really, really likely here. As uh, for the US dollar GPC yen currency pair, we can see that uh, the overall uptrend exists. 
but the pair is currently consolidating within a triangle. There is the resistance line connecting highs of October and November, and it currently provides resistance for the pair in the area of 1.114. Support lies at 113.10, where we find the high of uh, July and also the 50-day moving average. Further support uh, lies around 112.60, 112.40, 112.00 levels. Uh, decline below 112.60 would mean that the uptrend is in danger of uh, breaking. All in all. Uh, the fact that um, the fact that uh, the market's risk sentiment improved is uh, more positive than negative for this pair. Here, uh, traders do not expect any kind of news from Japan. As a result, uh, the performance of the pair, its ability to break above 114 and get to new levels to continue the uptrend will really depend on the U.S. economic data, on ISM, PMIs, on ADP and NFP readings this week. Because the better the U.S. data, the more rate hikes traders will expect from the Fed next year. And uh, the positive force will uh, be for dollar yen. If uh, data disappoint or if the Fed's Chair Powell gives uh, the market more negative comments, then uh, the pair will get below 113 mark and will test all the support levels we have marked here. So we'll get a more sideways dynamics uh, between 112 and 113 mark. This will be the main range for the dollar yen in this case. Now to risk sensitive currencies to Australian dollar, you can see on the weekly chart that there was a bullish gap at the start of the week. The pair looks aimed at the next Fibonacci level around 0.7460 and the moving averages on the weekly chart which are located at 0.75 mark. Um, we know that there will be a lot of data releases for Australia and as a result uh, this makes the bet kind of uh, risky. Uh, we have the Reserve Bank of Australia, we have Australian GDP which is expected to uh, lose its growth pace. So actually uh, probably there would be a chance to sell the Australian dollar on its attempts to get higher. There is resistance of 200 day moving average at 0 0.7416 and of course the Fibonacci resistance level at 0 0.7460. So um, we will look for the opportunities to sell the Australian dollar on the advance and for the player to uh, reverse down, closing this week's opening gap. Support will be located at 0.73. Uh, New Zealand dollar also gapped to the upside. It is already facing some weekly moving average at 0.6931 as the resistance. The next resistance is at 0.6985 and 0.70. 25 mark. Uh, the pair is supported by the Fibonacci level and uh, decline below 0 0.69 will open the way down for correction to 0 0.68. Although uh, there will be less um, data from the New Zealand than from Australia this week, so here the main factor will uh, come from the United States. Gold is trying to test higher levels. It kind of rebounded from uh, support last week and it uh, surely has uh, potential. Uh, the Fibonacci level at 38.2 um, at 12.38 looks attractive, although there is a weekly moving average on the way of the prices. It looks like uh, the pair will test um, higher levels. Um, 
because uh, various sentiment improved and demand for gold declined. Oil uh, is having a, an interesting week, we know, because uh, here the prices will be affected by the meeting of the oil exporting countries. Uh, there is some upside potential. Uh, the pair will likely test the previous support at now resistance line and uh, may recover if uh, there are positive news from oil market. The same picture is the US crude oil. There are levels to watch on the upside to which oil may uh, recover after the previous uh, decline. US dollar Canadian dollar uh, broke through uh, the support line and is aiming at lower levels now. Uh, there was a breakaway gap on the chart and uh, levels at 1.3130 and 1.3080 look like the next targets on the downside if uh, there are positive news from the oil market. Uh, the level of 1.30 will also come in place. Uh, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. And I hope that you will find a lot of exciting trading opportunities uh, we spoke about today and will be able to make profit in Forex trading with Light Forex. In comments to this video, uh, in the description, you will find some interesting links from Light Forex. So uh, please use this information to trade with the company. Thank you and uh, until next week.